People have been painting on walls for 50,000 years. There's a nice long tradition to look at. Our space becomes illusionistically continuous with the wall space. It becomes perfected, really. Uh, Veronese is an example in the 1500s. He makes the wall dissolve. You begin to feel that you can enter the wall and the architecture itself is fictive, so you can find a continuity between your space and his invented space. Tiepolo did that absolutely masterfully a little bit later. And this whole tradition continues right up to today. I'm almost giving away too much to show these slides because you can see exactly what I've begged, borrowed, or stolen from Veronese. This image, uh, it's in Mazer, uh, a place in Italy, that uh, a Palladio building. And I went with uh, Anne, my wife, and we. Um, it's just so playful and so wise and witty pictorially. It, this whole image, this whole plane is flat, but it opens up in depth. Uh, the, fic the fictive architecture carries you into that landscape. And that's very important to me. That's obviously what I'm up to here. To me, these are not dead images in the past. I'm not grave robbing here. These are alive. These painters are alive for me. They inform me, sometimes on a very specific technical level, how do you paint this? How do you paint a foot? How do you paint bricks? How do you paint uh, any number of things that they looked at very carefully? But also their energy is somehow or other in the moment. They're absolutely sort of pulsating with life.